everyone, welcome back to Calabunga Corner. In this episode, we are going to talk about the Playmates Ninja Turtle statues that came out in 2002 to 2005. These statues are really a unique item that came out by Playmates Toys as it is actually based off of the Mirage Ninja Turtle comics. And the very first issue, the first page, you come in to see the turtles in this exact pose. And it has all four turtles, and Leonardo does the introductory. So this is the image that people see when they first see the turtles to get to know their names. And it has each of them in their exact fighting stance with their weapons in the same position that they were inside the comic book. A really unique set of statues that all came out at different times. The first of the statues that came out was Leonardo. He came... um with his base and uh, his sword that comes uh, out of his hand it's screwed in there and uh, then he's got he screws onto the base there's uh, little bolts on the bottom of the base to hold him down into the base and on the base they have little details like a can with a little rat stick tail sticking out uh, paper trash and it's a nice brick base the next one that came out was Michelangelo again it's got weapons that screwed on so that they were disconnected inside the box and you put them together with his base. Each of the bases also have a little plaque area with their names on it. But what was unique was that the bases actually connect together. So once you got the four turtles, they have their positions where they're going to be on the base. And then you put the base together and you got that exact image that Eastman and Laird put inside the very front cover of the first issue of Ninja Turtles. After Michelangelo came out, they came out a year later. There was a skipped year. We were not sure what was going on. It kind of got us concerned as a lot of us fans were out trying to get the full set. And it went quiet from one boom, here's Leonardo, boom, there's Michelangelo. Nothing. So finally... Raph and Don came out in the same year, which was over a year after Michelangelo came out. Not back to back. Don came out at the very end of that year, but it was great to be able to get the full set together finally. Each of these statues were over $125 to get. Um, you can order them at your comic book stores or the Mirage website had it. This was done back when Mirage Studios still owned the Ninja Turtles. So their website was really up to date with keeping sales going that people could order these. My favorite of the Turtles, of course, is going to be Mikey. But I also like how the Donatello works. His weapon is the easiest one to move around. It comes in and out of his hand very easy. And then uh, Raph's weapons are pretty set in there. Leo's got the worst weapon. I don't care what you're getting Leonardo as. You get the original Playmate toys back in the 1980s. Those sword blades broke. You get the NECA toys. Those sword blades broke. These are no exception to the rules. The worst thing about these is if you bump or fall into one of these, you actually get scratched or hurt. Um, I have a huge scratch back when I first got this. Because I accidentally fell backwards and uh, these were out on the ground and it cut my leg. It doesn't seem like it would because it's just plastic. But these things do have a little bit of a sharp edge and they can hurt. But they also break. We have two of these Leonardos out of box here in the house. Both of them swords have broke and had to be glued back. This one broke right on the base. The other one is broke right across the middle. Now, you can't tell that they're broken because we were able to get them glued back. And unless you're up there looking at it, you know. You can see the seam in the other one. And if you look down, you can see the dried up glue on the top here. But otherwise, since we were fixed, they have not broke again. It's just still a bummer that you buy a statue and within the first week, the blade breaks. There's two full sets of these turtles inside the house. Uh, this one right here is my mom's collection. My collection right now is in box, uh, put away, but they have all been taken out of package and have been on display, uh, rotated display in my room. 
So right now, I instead of pulling mine out, I brought my mother's up here. Um, all of hers are in really good condition besides for Leonardo's sword that's broken. I also have a Michelangelo and a Leonardo that I've kept in package. I've actually got a few Leonardo's given to me a few years back. And uh, I gave two of those away uh, to Leonardo fans who did not have these yet. And then I put one of the Leonardo's away inside uh, my collection just to be kept in box. So here is Raph. And I want to show on the bottom of each of the base, it shows Peter Laird's autograph. This is a copy of his autograph. It's not like he sat there and signed each of them. But each of the bases have this. Also on the bottom of the base, it says 2005 Mirage Studios Playmates Toys Made in China. Now, just because they were made in China, does not mean they were sculpted in China. Uh, I've learned with Playmates Toys, a lot of their sculptures are done here in California. And then after they're molded, uh, the cast are sent off to uh, China to be reproduced and sold. These were a limited uh, edition. Each one got a copy of the page that shows what this was taken from. So you can compare it to the artwork. And you also got what number yours is and the set that came out. And um, you got a little handful of other odds and ends things saying that this is the official collectible items. The boxes are pretty sweet. I like the boxes. They have the statues of each turtles on the box. And they use the color code of the turtles bandanas for the cartoons on the boxes. So like Leonardo's box has blue, Michelangelo has orange, Don has purple, while Raph has red. Even though they're the red mask bandanas, they still were able to get the colors involved in the actual packaging of these statues. They're very easy to take apart and put back inside their boxes. So if you do have a collection of these, you can keep the box and the styrofoam off to the side. So if you need to put them away for any reason, it's simple to just take them, remove the weapon, and then unbolt the uh, two things on the feet. The hardest part usually is uh, finding an area where you can have all four set up that's safe for them. Uh, especially in my room, I have a slanted ceiling, so the area I like to have them set up, I can't have Donatello hooked up to the others because the slanted ceiling comes down too low and it's supposed to have just make sure that I can't get it in there. So, overall, throughout all the years of Ninja Turtles, there's been a lot of different types of statues and busts that have come out. There's the bronze statues that would be seen at the Words and Pictures Museum. There's the slideshow statues that are coming out right now, which look fantastic. But I do have to say that out of all the statues that I've seen up close and personal, these are my favorite statues to ever be released. These are the ones that I made sure to go out there and buy each of them as they came out. As I felt very strongly about the very first issue of the Turtle Comics, I think that this is a great way of honoring that issue, of showing a respect towards the collectors who love that comic book, Eastman and Laird's artwork style, just the full overall grasp of the beginning of the Turtles and putting it out as a statue set. I thought that was a great idea. And to this day, this is one of the things I like to keep on display as much as I can. Now, if you're looking to actually collect these and you don't have them yet, uh, I have to wish you the best of luck. They sold out pretty fast. I believe the two that's easy to find is still Michelangelo and Leonardo. But when Raph and Don came out, it was a smaller production size. And they became extremely hard to get. I know friends who have been trying to get their hands on this set for a while. So every now and then you might see them pop up on eBay or bump into them over at a show. Like a comic convention or a collector's show. But if you actually find them and you're looking for them, get them. I highly recommend it. 
uh, things that you need to watch out for when you're getting them is that the small stuff on the base can break off. Uh, there is a pipe on raft space that broke off of mine. I, I just took uh, some super glue and glued it back on. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the sword breaks pretty easy. These chucks I thought were going to be a problem when I first got them, but they're really not. Uh, the base there in Mikey's hand stays in the hand. And the upper part of the chucks screws off and back on. So that's how that spins. And with Raph here, his weapons just stay in his hands. You can't remove them. They don't move at all. So the only weapons you really need to worry about is the top part of Mike, Leo's sword, and Don's bow staff. This sword here does not come out. It is display only. There is no actual sword. There's the case. But this has the full sword where it screws on and off of the base to be taken out of his hands. So, now with these turtles, if you have a collection of them, or if you have like your favorite one and have done a review here on YouTube, please give us a, re uh, a reply. Uh, link it as a video reply so people can see your reviews as well. Um, if you are interested in the numbers, of which I have, I would have to look into the boxes which are packed away right now. I don't memorize that because I have way too many turtle collectibles to remember small details like, Oh, I have number 19 of 172. Uh, I don't pick up on those details all the time, but I can look into it. And if enough people request it, I'll try and dig those out sometime. To let people know what I got. Um, if you're interested in detail on who sculpted the toys. I'm sorry I do not know that detail. I'm sure it's out there on the web. I was more interested in just getting these for my collection. As I was seeing the pictures popping up on uh, NinjaTurtles.com. Uh, I was extremely happy to get the first one. Leonardo when he came out. And I was very happy when I was able to buy all the others. I bought mine directly through NinjaTurtles.com, so each of these have come from Mirage Studios. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. I'll be happy to try and answer as many as I can. If you got stories about them, please also comment. And if you're interested in buying them, again, I don't know where you can buy them now. So, if I did... I, I tell you, but otherwise, I, I just have to say check eBay or other auction websites. What is your favorite of these statues? Do you own the statues? And if so, which one did you get first? I got Mike and Leo when they came out. And I got Raph and Don at the same time from the Mirage website. They had a sale on them, so I picked them up while I could. It's an expensive hobby to collect these statues. I know I need to get the sideshow statues, and when I can afford them, I will look into getting them. Though in the meantime, this is my set that I have right now. I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of Calabunga Corner. Please remember to give us some thumbs up down below and comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to Calabunga Corner. Now, we'll see you guys next time with an amazing interview with the actor who played Leonardo for Ninja Turtles 2 and 3. He actually took the time to sit down and go over what it was like to be in that costume after a horrible accident back in the 80s. And how the turtle costume actually helped him. So, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy what we got. Next week, watch Marcasso, who played Leonardo in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Cowabunga Corner.